when you get to the modules, you'll find that the chapters for each textbook are already there. If you've purchased the code, then you can just click on those. Be sure to enter your code. If you have any problems with that, you can contact the online office at 447-6674, and they're happy to help you. If, rather than purchasing the code, you have a hard copy of the book, that's fine too. However, if you do have the code, all of the supplementary materials will also be available to you. Keep in mind, though, I don't require any of those. When you get to Module 1, you'll find three items that are required before you can move on to the next modules. One is setting your notification preferences. You'll find directions how to do that. The most important thing is that they're set so you'll get my announcements. I post important stuff every week, and if you don't see that in your email, you may miss things that will help your grade. Also, you need to read the Academic Honesty Policy from OTC and watch a plagiarism video. When you've done that, you'll also check that box. And the third one is the syllabus agreement. After you've read the syllabus, you'll check that box. When those three things are done, then the rest of the course will open up and you can work ahead all you like in the class. Another item in Module 1 is an introductory phone call with me. I find some students in online classes like to have a connection, a voice, and I'm happy to do that. This is extra credit. You're not required to do it, but you can earn 10 points. When you click on that link, you'll see a schedule, a calendar, and you can just click the time you would like me to call you. Please be sure and include your phone number so that I can do that. If the time you have chosen doesn't work, you can always cancel it and put another time in. After we've had our phone conversation, then I'll record the 10 points extra credit for you. Some students really like to work ahead in online courses. That's absolutely fine in this course. The one thing I recommend, though, is that you go in order. Sometimes jumping back and forth between modules, you may miss some things that are important. The only exception to doing work early has to do with discussion boards. In order to keep discussion boards a class discussion rather than just two or three people interacting among themselves, I prefer that people post their original reply to my questions and then wait before they reply to others. So the way I have it set up is you need to post your response to my questions by Wednesday each week. Then Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday you can respond to other people. You'll need to, to reply to four other people in each discussion. However, and this is really important, it's better to get most of the points and just miss one. So if for some reason you don't get it done by Wednesday, that's fine. Still post yours by Thursday or Friday. Also, if you know you're not going to be available to respond to other people on Wednesday, Thursday, or Friday, if there are already posts there and you can reply to them, feel free. It's just that you'll lose one point for each one done early, and you'll lose a point if your original post is not done by Wednesday. But that's always better than losing all of the points. If you have any questions about that, please, please feel free to contact me and I'll clarify it. Also, in discussion boards, you'll note that you can't reply to other people until you've posted your response. I do that because I want your perspective, not what you've seen other people post. Keep in mind that in this class, all of the discussion boards are about your perspective. There aren't necessarily right and wrong answers. Each week after I've completed the grading, I'll post an announcement with comments about the previous work as well as information you may need for the next module. Those will be posted sometime between Saturday and Monday each week. If you've set your notifications up correctly, you should get those in email. But if you don't see one, you'll want to go in and look at announcements and make sure you didn't miss important information. Finally, just let me tell you a little bit about this course, the content of the course. This is Psychology of Personal Adjustment. It's exactly what it says. All of the assignments are geared to helping you apply the principles. It's different than other psychology classes. Yes, we will look at some theories, we'll look at some terminology, but the vast majority of it is applying the information to yourself. A lot of students tell me at the end of the semester that they've learned a lot about themselves, things they didn't even know. I hope you find that experience to be true for you. I look forward to getting to know you over the next eight weeks. I stood still. You did. I'm so proud. <laughs> okay. Did that make sense?